In this training video, we'll review how to calibrate a microphone and an accelerometer on the 2250 and 2270 sound level meter. The first thing we'll need to do is verify that we have the transducer selected correctly. We can go to the main menu at the lower left to select setup. In the input section, we can verify that the transducer is properly selected with its serial number and that we have the correct input selected. When we calibrate a transducer with its serial number, a record of that calibration will be kept on the meter. Now we're ready to make a calibration. We can go to the main menu at the lower left and select Calibration from the pop-up menu. To make a calibration, we have to first mount the calibrator and turn it on. Next, we can press Start Calibration on the meter. The meter will make a measurement of the calibration tone and compare it to the last calibration value. We can select to either accept the new calibration value or reject it. When we select yes, a record of the calibration will be saved on the meter and the calibration will be applied. Under the details tab at the bottom, we can take a look at the details of the calibration. We can click on the calibration history to review the log of all the calibrations made on the meter with that transducer. At the left, the date and time of the calibrations are listed, and at the right, we can see the deviations from the initial calibration. Under the Details tab, we can also select what kind of calibrator we are using. The default microphone calibrator is a type 4231, which will output 94 dB at 1 kHz. If we're using a different calibrator, we can select Custom Calibrator and input the calibration level of that custom calibrator. The Remind tab can allow us to set a reminder to notify us when it is time to send the meter in for a traceable accredited calibration. Next, let's take a look at how to calibrate an accelerometer on the 2250 or 2270. First, we'll want to make sure that the accelerometer is properly selected under setup. Our accelerometer will be plugged into the rear socket, and I have the transducer selected by its serial number. Next, we can go to the main menu and go to Calibration. We first mount the accelerometer on the calibrator and press Start. Back on the meter, we can press Start Calibration and the meter will perform a calibration measurement. After the meter has completed the measurement, we can click Yes to accept the calibration or No to reject the calibration and perform it again. If we go to the Details tab, we can see the calibration history for the accelerometer. The default calibrator type for accelerometers is the type 4294. If we're using a different calibrator, such as the 4294-002, which can be used with heavier accelerometers, we can select that or a custom calibrator type. Now that we've performed a calibration and we've confirmed that the transducer is working correctly, we're ready to go make a measurement.